fellow Sovians, this video is going to be about plants. If you have any questions about how to grow them, how to water them, and how much sun to get a certain plant, or grow vegetables, leave in the comments down below. I'll answer your, any questions you have in the next plant video I make. So leave them in, in the comments down below right now. Now let's get straight into this video. I made an experiment uh, video about plants a while back seeing if you can grow seeds and 100% coffee grounds here is a link to it up here uh, a little card click it and go watch that if that interests you you want to see if they can grow in coffee grounds but I bought some plants at Ace Hardware they don't look so good because I got them for a dollar fifty you know and also at Lowe's I buy plants all the time that, that are on sale and I uh, baby them back to life and they're, and they're a lot cheaper. These were $1.50, so this is a chocolate mint, which doesn't need a lot of sunlight. This one is uh, New Guinea Impatient. It's an Impatient, and Impatients don't need a lot of sun. And I bet you know what this is. It's a tomato plant, and you see all these little hairs on the little tomato plant, on, on like the little uh, stem. Those are root hairs. You could you could plant a um, tomato plant real deep in a pot, and it'll make real good root systems. So that way you won't have to uh, water it so much or whatever. I'm gonna plant this into the ground and in the ground kind of deep, maybe up to like here. You'll see. I'm gonna start out by putting dirt in these uh, pots, and these pots have like huge huge holes in them. So if you just put dirt right away, it'll uh, dr the dirt will fall right out of it when you water it, and you won't have over time you won't have a lot of dirt in there. You can put rock, a little bit of rocks in there. You can put broken pottery in there, or you could. This is from uh, um, an air conditioned uh, filter, and it has a lot of holes in there, so it could drain water but not dirt. And I cut it into a square, fits perfectly right in there like so I'm gonna put a little bit of dirt in there a good bit of dirt like so I the dirt I you like to use is uh, dirt from Lowe's it's uh, either the topsoil or cow and compost and I buy them broken open bags you get it half price so it's a dollar something real cheap and with the cow and compost you get the compost but you also get the cow manure which gives it nutrients and gives it a, a good amount of nitrogen for your plants to grow but you don't burn it because you have a mixture of not 100% cow manure you also have some compost in there okay I'm gonna try plant this first my um, impatient who has got a lot of roots and you can see that it's really really root bound it's all in there and I don't like miracle Grow. I'll just tell you that 100% right now I don't like miracle Grow. I feel like miracle Grow uh, is too much um, wood chips. I'll just tell you that. Don't go with miracle Grow, And it dries out too fast. miracle Grow think they're all that, but I don't think they are. Okay, anyway, first thing to do is break up the roots. You want to break up the roots real, real good. Plant it into the ground and put dirt all the way around it. Well, into this pot all the way around it like so we're gonna put it somewhere that doesn't have a lot of sunlight so let me put this away uh, this one looks horrible this chocolate mint but I bet when we, we we plant it and we put it in a bigger pot it'll start looking a lot lot better I'm gonna cut away a lot of the dead from it I don't even have to cut it I just kind of just snap it away but look so you can see the dead snap that away I don't know if you're learning anything from these videos if you're learning anything let me know like I would like to know like if you really like the, these videos or whatever oh and if you have any questions about any plants or whatever or you try to grow a plant and, and you really want to grow one but you can't grow it very well then let me know because I have a horticulture degree so I know about plants so leave it in the comments down below if you have any questions about any of these plants I'm just kind of just willy-nilly just going and doing doing something, you know, just recording a video and if it's liked, it's liked. I like plants and I want other people to kind of get into liking plants. So here is my pot, like, like I said, and then I have 
This is the air conditioning filter, and I'm gonna cut it into a square, like so. Just cut a square off. Put it down in this pot. Let me, and when you break up the roots, break up the roots over the pot, because that way you would get a lot of the dirt back into the pot. And with mint, mint, you could actually cut a piece off and you could repot it, but I'm not worried about that right now. I'm just worried about trying to get this one to be healthy right now. It looks horrible. And then put a, some good dirt back with it. Mix it all in together. I don't know if you can see that. There you go, mix it together. And you can see that I loosened up a lot of the dirt, a lot of the roots, so stretch the roots out all over the place so it's not just in, in growing in a circle anymore. And you can like literally cover up a lot of, of the, the mint actually. I recommend it because mint will actually grow its own little roots out of itself. So cover up most of the mint, trust me. I'll come back to this a week later and show you how these plants are doing. But trust me, I know it looks horrible and I know it doesn't look like a lot of mint, but it, it'll 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 help it, just trust me. I know it's hard it's, I know it's hard, you know, you don't want to cover up a plant or whatever, but this is the plant it's okay to cover up. Now we got our chocolate mint, and we got our New Guinea Impatience. We got both of these, and we'll put these to the side. And now this one is our Creole tomato. We're gonna put it in a big pot, let, let the roots stretch out. Like, like we did before, whoop. Like we did before, we have to take, so the dirt doesn't come out of the pot, out of the big hole, when we water it, Put one of these in there, the filter. Take the dirt out of the pot. You, we're, we're gonna squeeze the bottom of the pot so it breaks up the roots just a little bit so it makes it easier to come out. And look at all those roots, it's so root bound. So we wanna break it up just a little bit. We don't need to, to overwork it. We just break it up a little bit, maybe in, in the half. One side over here, one side over there, like so. But let's get some dirt in this pot. A good amount of dirt. And we're going to plant this plant deep in the pot, okay? Trust me. We're going to plant it very deep, actually. How deep? I'd say about to here. Trust me. It, it, it'll uh, grow bigger. It'll grow taller. Let's see. There we go. And now we add the dirt to it, the pot, all the way up to the rim, all the way up to here. We wanna fill it all the way up so we can get this plant covered up, the stem as much as possible. Much of the stem as it's possibly to be able to cover up. There, put it on my knee so you can see me. Oop, I'm making kind of a mess. But I'll uh, spray off the, the dirt later. I don't know how interesting this is or anything, but if you find this somewhat interesting and you want to know more about any kind of plant, there's a certain plant you want to know more about, then let me know. You see how deep it is? This is pretty good because now the rest of the stems where it has the root hairs, th these little hairs on there, I don't know if you can see it on there, but next time you go see a tomato plant, look at it and you'll see on the stem there are hairs. Those are root hairs and if you plant the plant deep and it'll start making root. And now put back the oh yeah I forgot we need to put back all of these uh, tags so you know what plants these are this is a uh, Creole tomato this is goes with the chocolate mint and this goes with the new guinea okay oh look how messy all all I, I made the plants everywhere oh okay let's go find a place for all these plants Creole tomato a good amount of sun, but it doesn't need to be like in sun where it's gonna like burn it too much. This seemed like a good location for now. Chocolate mint, it doesn't look so good right now, but we're gonna water it and it'll look better later. But I'm gonna put it over here where it can get some shade under underneath the patio here, the little porch. And chocolate mints are supposed to taste like Andy mints, kind of like they're like mint and chocolate flavored, not like 100% chocolatey. And now we're gonna find a place for this New Guinea Impatient. And later on I'm gonna have to pot it in a bigger pot because eventually the roots will start uh, 
getting too big and, and I'll have to put pot in a, in a bigger pot. But for now, this is where I'm gonna plant it. I'm gonna put it next to this right here for now. I know I'm getting too much. Look, I'm not gonna be able to walk on my porch at all. Look at all these plants on my porch. Ooh. This is supposed to be able to walk on. Like, look, I even have like this uh, rose plant. And this plant is cool. This is my um, uh, jalapeno peppers. I had these plants. For, I had this plant for like three years. And it makes peppers every year as long as it doesn't freeze back. So pepper plants can last a while as long and make, make plants every year. I mean, make peppers. If has any questions about any of the growing any plants or anything, just leave it in the comments down below or you have a garden or anything you want to know about. Just uh, let me know. I can show you how to grow some vegetables or whatever you want to know how to grow if you're interested in that. If you really want to see more, more of these videos. You know, I've been working on comedy videos so most people know me as a comedy person and I will get back to that. But I just wanted to uh, make another uh, video about growing plants. I enjoy plants. I have a horticulture degree in that. And I don't know if anyone finds my voice boring or annoying or they fall asleep already or they clicked away from this video. Oh well, I'm making this video anyway. So see more videos like this, then thumbs it up and it lets me know that you want to see more videos about plants. If you don't want to see videos about plants, thumbs it down, dislike it, and I'll know you don't want to see any more plant videos and I'll consider that. So, and, and don't forget to subscribe to see more videos like this coming soon. Hope you enjoyed. Oh, and I'm definitely going to make another uh, experimental video about experiments about plants. I'm going to see if you can grow seeds and rocks. That is coming soon.